so tell us a little bit about yourself and how you came to you know be where you are. I had an opportunity in 1994 when we opened the store to move from Conroe, which is my hometown, uh, up to Huntsville uh, and get a, a start with Wiesner's. Uh, Wiesner's always had a long-time reputation of excellence. Uh, if you weren't a manager, you couldn't be a salesman, you know, in, in prior uh, careers. And I had an opportunity in 94 to move up here and, and we opened the store May of 94. Uh, and I've been here ever since. Oh, wow. Long time. <laughs> I worked my way up from sales to uh, finance manager to used car manager, new car manager, uh, and now uh, the general manager. Awesome. Good deal. Um, what would be, what makes Wiesner different from other dealerships in town? We're not a transactional company. Uh, we're a relational company. So it's not it's not just about the money, it's about the relationships that, that we build. Uh, large towns can get away with a transactional type uh, service. Smaller towns, you have, we're going to see you in Walmart, we're going to see you in HEB and Kroger's and, and I don't ever want somebody as I'm walking down the aisle to come up to me mad. Uh, so we take pride in, in changing things a little bit and treating people a little bit different. Uh, we don't always succeed, uh, but we try really hard and we learn from the mistakes that we make. Awesome. Perfect. Michael? Uh, what kind of advice would you give, say, somebody new to the community that isn't very familiar with this company um, and that is looking to buy a vehicle um, here soon? Well, being the fact that it's a college town, uh, we get that a lot. Uh, a lot of people come in for the first time, uh, you know, out of high school, needing service work. Uh, mom and dad, you know, they may live in Dallas, uh, Corpus Christi or wherever. Um, and we've had to kind of take a, a, a little step away and go, this is recommended. Uh, not necessarily this is what, you know, we're going to make you do. Uh, and we look at a lot of different recommendations as far as that goes. Uh, the, the store itself... Um, is really based on community involvement, uh, and that, that would be the difference that we make. Um, another, I guess, question would be, uh, when, when you deal with vehicles, of course, um, there's always going to be service, servicing vehicles and everything else. Um, what kind of sets you apart? Because a lot, you know, you, you don't just sell cars, you also service them as well. So. What sets you apart in the service department? The ASC certifications. Uh, we've got some technicians that uh, have been here. I think one of them right now is 18 years. One of them was 14 years the other day. Uh, the 18 year technician started here on the uh, lube rack. He was changing oil and now he's a master tech. Uh, he's going through all the training and the certification and things like that. Being able to grow in one place is, is what sets us apart in that area. Awesome. Um, is there any advice you would have for first time uh, car buyers or uh, even repeat buyers? What should they ask? What should they look for? Uh, the most simple. Um, if I had any advice to give somebody, and, and it's the same as a house, uh, stay within your budget. Uh, don't stretch too much. Uh, obviously, everybody wants the nicest thing out there. Uh, put a little money down and uh, don't finance your taxes. I guess is the, <laughs> the biggest advance that everybody, or advice that everybody can give. And uh, just stay within your means. Uh, it, it, it pays out in the long run. We've had a lot of first time buyers. Uh, I'll never forget a little lady that, that she still lives here in town. Kids grew up with mine. Uh, she didn't have a car. And she came in man, 23, 24 years ago and couldn't drive a manual transmission, so I taught her to drive. <laughs> she got to drive a manual transmission, went out to the airport, came in two years later, established her credit, wanted to buy another car. Uh, and from that relationship, now she buys anything she wants and drives whatever she wants because she took care of herself. And she started at the bottom and just worked her way up. That's golden advice right there. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Leave within your means. Yeah. Um, yeah. It helps. Yeah, absolutely. So that's 
pretty much it. We thank you so much for your time. Uh, we're so grateful that you allowed us to come here and visit with you and to give this great advice to some of the people back there who are interested in hearing it. Thank you all for the partnership. This is going to be an incredible ride. Yeah, yes, sir. Absolutely.